Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode we met a new character. Um, his name, uh, her name is Anna and she's the fiance of um, Yo. And uh, we saw how she actually is, you know. And I really like, one thing I am quite impressed about her is her, you know, uh, un, like, what do you call it? Indis in undiscrimin indiscrimination <laughs> indiscrimination and like you know there's like these kind of like you know heroines who only kind of beat the main characters but if this lady anna she slaps around everyone Wh whoever like you know does something like that annoys him she goes and gives him a big slap <laughs> and like you know uh true equality <laughs> i like it and also uh, uh there was this whole thing with um uh what was his name ren wasn't it his uh, sister or cousin, I cannot remember what she is. Uh, her name is Tao Jun and her spirit, a Li Pyron. Now, one thing I kind of like mentioned in the previous episode is that how, like, you know, uh, one thing that I really did not like felt uncomfortable is like the fact that they killed Li Pyron just so that they can use him as a vessel, you know, for uh, Tao Jun. So that that's really uncomfortable for me because you know like if he died in a natural cause and she took her like his corpse uh, for his her own use it would have been still okay but you know like they killed him just to make him a corpse and to use him that's messed up but yeah anyways like uh, like you know they kind of like fought it out and everything and like we can see like uh, Anna is like one of the best support for Yo and it'll really help like she has this power of uh summoning the spirits and all and you know like uh, you can use those spirits to fight so it's a pretty damn impressive com like combination uh, teamwork so yeah uh let's see what this episode is about so this is episode number four of shaman king so without further ado let's get started all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sing it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> okay, best place. Oh, Ren. Ren came. Oh, damn. Um, I forgot his name. What was his name? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, run. <laughs> oh, his name is Ryu. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. It seems they have become good friends, you know, Ren and uh, Yo and uh, Ryu as well. Like from the opening. All right, let's see what Ryu did, does this episode. <laughs> like it's like you know, like this past few episodes, he, he seems pretty unfortunate about a lot of things. Oh, this is a 
Who is that in a raincoat? Or a jacket? What is that? Oh! Damn. What is the best place? Okay. Oh. Oh, that's Anna. Oh my god. <laughs> what does it even mean? <laughs> Weird hair. <laughs> Go fix her hair. Like, get a haircut. Um. You get beat up. Oh, he, he's like, yeah, yeah, he's returning his. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we never went there, did we? Oh, damn. Does he really? Yeah. Thousand yen. What? That's cheap. Oh, Anna also lives here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you are. Here, here you go. Here's your weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you forgot to hand it over to him. Yeah, there must be someone else, like his grandfather. Oh. Okay, who else? Oh. Is this a boarding house or something? Oh, or not. Spirits. Okay. <laughs> so that's why it's so cheap. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god a spirit like you know spirits kind of look for vulnerabilities in people's hearts oh damn <laughs> six hundred years you have bad luck if you have to wait 600 years. Oh. Oh, damn. He looks like a goblin. What the hell? <laughs> His hair looks like a heart. <laughs> yeah, he possessed him. Yes. It is a heart, his hair. Oh, he knows Amida Maru. Yeah. Oh, God. Good. Oh, damn. Bandit. Oh, no! Did he stab him? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, no, he knows! Yeah, how? Oh, from his memories. 
or maybe not oh god he ha he must have some kind of a problem with amida maru oh okay <laughs> oh oh what no privacy <laughs> oh god i make house calls oh thank you Amida Maru, I think. Yeah. Who is he? No, th no, that's not it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Dread Bandit Lord. Tokagero, Tokage means lizard, isn't it? <laughs> he doesn't remember. Um, six hundred years, he forgot. Okay. What? Well, you fought with him 600 years ago and you died. So I think the result will be the same, even if you fight now. Oh yeah, that is true. You know, okay, okay, he's using this. Yeah. Okay, this is a disadvantage for Amit Amaru. Oh yeah, the sword is also Harusame. Okay. And he also has a like you know a wooden sword. Yeah. Oh god. Tokagero. Yeah, he also has a lizard headband. What the hell? <laughs> oh he got he reversed himself that's why the wound is shallow oh he stole it god Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Oh destroy Harusame. <laughs> I think he's going to choose destroying Harusame, you know? I think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's like defiling the dead. Oh, did 
तो कागे लोग क्यों ले डैम हम्म हम्म या ओ व्हाट ओके <laughs> That's it, dear. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Defeat you. Okay. Oh, yeah, he is breaking. How does that mean? Okay. Still, you know, yeah, that's not the point of it. He gave him the means. Yeah. Oh, he th that was his. Uh, okay, the knife. He used the knife. Hmm. Um, will he listen? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is not that type of a guy who will understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, good. This is <laughs> Yep, there you go. Oh god. Okay, calm down. Um <laughs> Yes. Yeah, true, you know, like why? Yeah. Oh god. Well, you're dead, like... Yeah. What?
Okay. I'll have to talk about this later on, you know? This whole thing, okay, I'll talk about it. Um... Okay. Okay. Um Technically, yes. <laughs> Connection. Okay. Alright, so he kind of tricked himself to think that the revenge was the only thing. Yeah, with her with his mom. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Oh my god, Anna is mad. Yeah, like, if this guy was even more vicious, he wouldn't... <laughs> oh my god, he... <laughs> he was revenge. Okay. Now... Okay, one thing I want to talk about in this episode. 
I know there will be mixed opinions about this episode, about the whole, like, you know, friendship thing. You know what I think? Uh, this show really shows us the contrast between, like, a typical shonen protagonist and a person, like, you know, like, Anna is, like, the voice of reason. Like, she usually, like, you know, like, she's pretty realist, if you have to say. And, like... Yo is like, uh, what can I say? Uh, like, you know, as he's like, he is, we, you can see, like, he th thinks too much about like feelings of others and even the enemies. And, you know, he sympathizes with people, souls, especially souls. And now I'm sure a lot of people might say that, oh, like, again, this whole, like, you know, this friendship power, Nakama power again. In my opinion, the thing that Yo did here is a little bit different than the typical, like, you know, friendship and, like, you know, Nakama thing that, like, usually shonen animes does. Now, I'm going to talk about what, uh, like, I feel is different about Yo. Okay, that's the end. Um, uh, I don't know, I think there's, like, a, uh, like, you know, there's a saying called um, hate the sinner, not the... No, nah, hate the sin, not the sinner. I think there's something like that. And I think that is what Yo did here. Like, you know, um, here's the thing. At the beginning, I thought like, you know, like when Yo started saying that, like, you know, you should, like, you know, uh, like, you know, like I should, I will not kill you. I will like make you uh, like purify your soul. So like if if I if we kill him, who will purify his soul? And I, Anna got like you know mad at that and everything. At that moment, I was thinking that like why is he saying something like this? Because you know, uh, Tokagero, he also did a lot of bad things. You know, so does that not mean that he deserves some kind of a punishment or a retribution? Like him saving his soul, like will mean like you know like whatever Tokagero did, like. Like, whatever bad thing he did won't have any consequences. He will get saved. Like, in the beginning, I was thinking in that direction. But then I changed my mind later on. I thought that, no. Like, that does not give, like, you the right to judge him. Like, you know, like, as I said, like, do not hate the person, like, you know, like, he did something wrong. Tokagero did a lot of things wrong. He killed a lot of people and everything. But that's, that does not give Yo the right to judge him. You know, Yo, he should keep, like, you know, keep following his own ideals. What is his ideals? To purify the souls and, like, you know, become a shaman king. What is the meaning of becoming a shaman king? As far as I could understand, like, shaman king means, like, um, like, you know, kind of, uh, like, a shaman is, like, uh, interacting with different souls and fusing with them. So, they, they're heavily interconnected with the souls. So, in my opinion, becoming a shaman king is the thing that, you know, Yo is doing now. That he's not judging someone based by his previous, like, you know, actions or his past. He's judging, like, you know, he's purifying the souls and making them, like, you know, kind of find peace and I don't know this is just something that I think you know because in my opinion the thing that he did wrong Tokagero did wrong if someone like punishes him for it like you know like anyone can punish him for the wrongs that he did but in my opinion the biggest like the better thing would be for him to realize the wrong thing that he did and punish himself and like you know uh, like do uh, what do you call it um, make amends for it himself that will be an even better outcome in my opinion like what he did now you know like he himself realized what he did wrong and I'm sure he'll make amends for it and he will like you know kind of try to do something good later on so that like and he will change his like you know way ways uh, later on so that you know um, he can um, not like he cannot do anything to negate what he had done before but at least like you know kind of make amends for it 
and do better thing in the future like if he was like you know kind of punished and everything and if his soul was not saved he would have gone to hell and that would have been it like you know the bad thing would have been still in his heart he would never have gotten that peace that he got now and now that you purified him he will i'm sure he will like help you in the future and like i'm sh like i'm sure like you you will do more good things like this which like you know kind of like contribute to the good thing that he is doing indirectly because he's helping you like this is what it is basically at least in my opinion this is not just some like you know like uh like some nakama power and like you know like do like you know changing enemies to become your allies stuff no uh in my opinion uh the thing that he did is better like in, in the beginning i was thinking like what he's doing is basically like you know forgiving him for all the sins that he has committed but by the end of it i kind of changed my mind i thought that no like whatever sins he committed that is his sins no like yo yo does not like should not at least judge him for those sins you should like follow his own ideals do what he does the best and what he does the best is empathizing with spirit and like be it enemy or like ally and you know like purify it now there's an exception to this like this does not mean that whatever like you know enemy you find you'll empathize with him and forgive him there are exceptions like total scum people or total like scum spirits i'm sure will like uh, like you know meet them in the future people who like you know spirits are people who are unredeemable and they won't redeem themselves ever those like those people need punishment because they themselves will never punish themselves just like like here tokagero he was like he had a past he had a reason for what he was doing it so like you know uh like his like his soul was good he was a, a like in, in in his heart he was a good person but like circumstances made him bad so that's why the thing that yo did here kind of worked if he was a real genuine bad person you know this wouldn't have worked this would have gone in a complete wrong and bad direction like he would have lost control of his body and the uh, like you know the uh, spirit that can't like uh, possessed him he would have ultimately like either killed him or did something bad so like in my opinion i don't know if yo like what yo will do in those type of situations but i think like you needs to like at least acknowledge that no like the, there's like you know there's no absolute in this like there will be extremely bad people bad souls and he needs to recognize them and kind of judge them accordingly like for tokagero his judgment is correct but if it was someone else who was really bad this would have been a completely wrong decision in my opinion I don't know what if yo will do if he encounters someone like this in the future. So yeah, that's one thing. You know? Like the thing that he did is correct, but at least for this situation. Like situations might change in the future and he has to take decisions accordingly. So yeah, like this this is like the only thing that I wanted to say, you know, because like like yeah like he himself is like uh, following his own convictions his own ideals that is all well and good but like you know you sh he sh must not let that convictions or ideal you know <coughs> like like uh, what can i say rule him like he must make his own decisions make his own convictions and ideals and go according to that not the reverse like his ideals and convictions should never like take control of him that will be a messy situation you know and i really do not want like something like that to happen and yeah like you know he should be the master of his own ideals and his own convictions not the other way around so yeah i i don't know like i'm sure we'll meet someone who is really bad in the future you know like up until now the people we've who we've met had good things in their heart like they were not genuinely bad person but i don't know we'll surely meet someone in the future who is really bad you know who is really like who is unredeemable and who will never change his ways so yeah like that's when you know 
we can like we will be able to judge like is yo really like able to like make decisions like this or is he just like uh like driven by his ideals not the other way around but yeah and uh yeah and um tokagero so i'm guessing tokagero became one of the spirits that he will be contracted with in the future because you know it seemed like that and yeah and um i have to say like uh <laughs> anna how anna called the bluff you know when he was like tokagero was saying that oh i'll kill this uh, like you know the uh, the vessel i'll kill the person who i'm uh in and he like she just like called the bluff just like that said that oh no like you can do whatever the hell you want but as soon as you do that i'm going to grab you by your neck and drag you down to hell <laughs> and yeah and i don't know like i think that was a little bit reckless because you know at that moment um like tokager was cornered you know so like uh, i think there's the, the something called like you should not like corner uh, like you know corner someone he becomes vicious or something some kind of a saying like that like do not <clears throat> oh yeah yeah uh, do not corner a wounded beast or something like that i think so what anna did kind of worked but i don't know like uh, he might have been like reckless and like you know stabbed ru that would have been a messy situation so but by the end of it like it kind of worked out so yeah and yeah and i thought we were probably going to get a uh, like you know um an episode dedicated to ryu but it was technically not like that we kind of got a little bit of information about ryu you know like the whole like he uh, gathered all his friends you know who did not have place to go and something like that and this made like a group of uh people uh, like they were like good friends hanging around and all and that and also like uh, another thing we got to know is like uh he has his own like you know i'm talking about drew his own ideals like you know when uh, his friends said that like you should not do that you like you yourself said that if you do that your mom will be sad something like that you know so like that's his own conviction his own ideal so like it it seems like he is like one of those delinquents or you know like those like rough and like you know those kind of delinquents who kind of like biker gang members or something like that that he looked like he looks like but uh, i'm sure he does not like you know he himself is a, is a genuinely good person he probably won't hurt anyone you know and all they probably just like you know kind of mess around with people and that's just the extent of it yeah and they like you probably like probably won't won't ever like you know commit something that is morally incorrect that's what i'm trying to say and i'm sure we'll get to know more about him in the future and uh, yeah but this episode turned out to be uh, like a story for uh, tokagero and you know um, and amida maru kind of and Uh, i have to say like uh, the like his name like tokagero tokage like it means lizard and like he, he himself explained that like you know his mother gave him the name so that he can survive like you know the, just like the way a lizard kind of sheds off its tail tail but still survives you know just like that and yeah and how like his mother like that was really messed up you know when he said that my mother had to give like you know uh like i had to eat uh, this yeah he said something like that didn't he like i had to consume my mom to survive that's really messed up like i have to say like the pretty messed up situations in this anime like the previous episode like the whole thing with um pyron like you know where like uh, they just killed him just so that they can get a vessel like that's pretty messed up and dark and this one as well so yeah like <laughs> you know like these are pretty like heavy heavy and dark um, back stories yeah 
and as like Amid, another thing that Amida Maru said is like you know like if I did not have um, his friend I forgot his name what was his name uh, his swordsmith's friend he said that if I did not have him you know as my friend who knows maybe I would have like walked a same similar path to Tokageru like that's what I was saying like you know like no one is born bad circumstances make them bad and that's basically it and sometimes the circumstance and everything makes someone so bad that they generally become an evil person the evil like you know things seeps into the heart and those type of people i'm calling them like genuinely bad person who are irredeemable like and there are a few people who are bad but the like you know the evil thing has not seeped has not seeped into the heart and soul it has not corrupted his heart and soul those people they have like you know they can redeem themselves just like tokagero but there are exceptions you know and yeah like I i'm looking forward to what decision will yo take if he comes in contact with such a person you know because yeah and i hope that he takes the right decision because if he like does something like this you know the thing that he did today like said that yeah like come and like uh, possess my body that will be a very bad thing you know like that would be foolish and i don't know like i'm pretty concerned for him because it seems as if he th like he thinks everyone is, like you know he thinks like his vision is like everyone is genuinely good which i also like you know kind of um believe but you know there are exceptions as i said like people become bad and some people are irredeemable and like there's no going back for them those type of people i'm concerned about so i'm really concerned as to like what like if he meets some person like that what decision will you take because he seems pretty like like he it seems like if he like believes everyone and believes in the good of everyone and yeah like people might call that naivety so and yeah that was it that was this episode and yeah that was that was it so that was this episode this was shaman king episode number four so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day